Wow. <laughs> I'm totally deaf. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, we <laughs> got a bunch of condom, I mean, condom and cups. Stainless steel. Walmart used to sell these dirt freaking cheap and uh, sadly no longer, so I had to source them on Amazon. But there's supposedly some Chinese grade of stainless steel, which I'm hoping holds up in the environment we're going to subject it to, which is, hopefully, <laughs> if all goes as planned, a uh, HHO generator, so brown gas, and there's tons of videos on YouTube about this stuff and people trying to power their cars with it and all sorts of weird, fringy, you know, sort of wonky stuff. So we're not going to dwell into that. I just want something to generate HHO gas which I can then make a torch and pretty pretty damn high temperature flame I think it's around 5000 Fahrenheit very hot stuff so what we got here a couple pieces of stainless all thread bunch of nylon nuts some stainless nuts some washers I don't know if I'll use them and this is probably what the final reaction vessel will end up being some PVC we got a clean out adapter I do believe it's called a uh, three inch end cap, repair coupling, hello, and that'll sit in there like that with a little section of pipe. And our electrodes will be attached to this, they'll drop down into a sodium hydroxide solution and hopefully give off a shit ton of HHO gas, which is what we're looking for. <laughs> now, I was trying to find a section of clear PVC and unfortunately nowhere around me sells it or stocks it or can even order it. So, I'll have to leave you guys to your dirty imagination to picture those nice bubbles. Maybe I'll slap it in a mason jar so you can see it beforehand. That's what we're going to do. I'm uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to stack these and kind of going to have to drill some holes in there for the all thread and figure out a way of keeping one isolated while the other's not isolated. That's the game plan. Let's see if we can do it. So, the goal here is just to make one that I can use to center punch all the others in roughly the the same spot all right there we go that'll be our reference we got clearance for the nuts got to make sure you have clearance for your nuts that's important now we slap that on there you can center punch all the other ones in pretty much the same exact spot all right so this is going to be hopefully the final game plan here quarter inch hole on the one side and a 3 8 inch hole on the other that way the all thread will have room to go down through there without contacting that well I've been sitting here playing with my nuts for the past probably hour or so trying to figure out how to get these together and really the only good way of doing it is kind of in a you know cone configuration like so so I was trying to get the bubbles to come out along the ridge basically facing that way up in the cell but I can't get them to go together that way to get the nuts down in there that deep. It's just just not working out. <laughs> can't get my nuts that deep securely. So I'm going to have to drill another hole to allow the gases to vent so I can keep it in this upward cone configuration because if the gases have nowhere to go they're just going to build up in here until they can vent out through the bottom ridge and that's going to make you lose all that all that reactivity that surface area so that idea is out the drain <laughs> I'm gonna have to drill another hole in each of them so got all the vent holes drilled just oh lovely just using the good old sheet metal drill there whatever the hell it's called step drill all right just so you can see what I got going on here they're a little out of co-centric but eh, it's it's what it is so I got nut connecting the bottom one to this all thread and the nut up here connecting the other one I have a couple spacers about a quarter inch up the rod to sit this one that's a terrible explanation but we got so you can see no connection there connection there we're connected there and not connected there so we're gonna have anode cathode or cathode anode whichever one of these is positive negative and gonna rinse and repeat well it took forever and only had to sacrifice three chickens but you can see no continuity continuity no continuity 
continuity. So, we have three anodes, three cathodes. That should work to generate HHO. I really hope. <laughs> Just hope it doesn't short out in the cell. I think for a power source, I'm probably going to use an old computer power supply because I have quite a few of them laying around. And I'm just going to shove that through there. And I think most of the cells are going to sit pretty high up anyway, so clear PVC would have only gotten to see the ass of it anyway. It's really not much of a loss. So I'll just slap this together with some PVC cement or epoxy or whatever the hell I have laying around. And drill a couple holes for this to go through. Shut up, multimeter. I uh, just got to go cut a section, slap this together, and we're in good shape. So I got an old computer power supply here. It's 12 volts, 14 amps? Yeah, 14 amps. Now, if you ever need to hot wire one of these suckers, it's usually your green and black wire. Just fire it up. She is running. So. That's our trick, we'll just branch those together, jump some leads into this, and I'll put a little bit of sodium hydroxide in the water here, because this is distilled water, so it shouldn't really be conducted, but with some sodium hydroxide in there, I think that'll wick up the current nicely. All right, got everything set up here, and we're gonna fire it up. It's shorting the power supply. All right, found a charge battery. Turns out I'm bringing a few back to the recycling center. But this is my only charged one. I'm throwing some safety glasses on so I don't get sodium hydroxide solution in my eyes. That's what we're looking for. Holy shit. That's enough fun. I got sodium hydroxide solution all over me. And my leads are about to melt. Holy crap. This thing draws some current. Unreal. All right, I gotta clean up. Get the sodium hydroxide off my forehead. So I got this all together. Now to secure it off up at the top, it's gonna stick through there like so. I'll have a couple electrical connectors and some nuts up here, pair of nuts. And to keep it sealed, I have a couple O-rings at the top, and between the threads and nuts here, I have some Teflon tape. So this will seal against the, the O-rings will seal against the top, and the Teflon tape should keep any gas from escaping through the threads there. So I think we should be pretty well sealed, and at this point I just need to make a hole for the nipple, or hose barb. Just drilled a 7 16 hole, and I'm just going to... Tap her out here. Yep. I'm gonna keep the tap pretty shallow because I want this to be a nice snug fit for the hose barb to thread into. See if it fits. There we go. That's a nice tight fit too. I might not even really need Teflon in there. That'll be a good compression fit. I'll probably just throw some pipe dope on it, throw it in there, and we're good. All right, so got this ready to go. Tube leading into some soapy water. That'll also act as our flashback arrestor. And let's see, she will run. Oh yeah. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. We are springing a small leak over here, so I'm gonna have to patch that. That sucks. That all purpose cement. The bubbles are starting to get a little action to them. Wow, that's got some fury to it. My God. Yeah, we're losing electrolyte at a pretty good rate there. That's a bit disappointing. Cell staying pretty cool, but of course, I don't think heat would really be transferring through the PVC quite yet. Oh my god, I'm deaf. <laughs> oh, you guys keep saying earplugs. I really need to remember to use them. 
Holy. I think at this point it's just straight HHO coming out. I think all the residual air has pretty much been purged. Wow. <laughs> I'm totally deaf. <laughs> oh God. Malt. Malt. <laughs> Holy crap. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm not lighting that because it'll blow up the glass right in my face with that many bubbles. Please don't forget to uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you hit the little dingleberry next to the subscribe so you actually get notified when I post. And if you like the page enough that you want to support it, I do have a Patreon set up, so I will put a link in the description for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Too fun. Oh, I can't hear.